So, here's the fun thing that happened last time. We stopped recording, I waited, and then the fucker opened up his store. So, fuck him. Is the capture equipment off? We're open! <laughs> I'm just talking about what he's doing. No, I'm saying like... It's the, you see, oh, no, I was like, checking that it was actually recording over there. Oh, okay. I, I when you said the capture equipment, I was like, oh, God. I didn't want to make you nervous, really. I'm just saying like, he said like, oh, is uh, the capture equipment gone? Okay, we're now open. <laughs> Hey, sword! Thank you for coming. Th thank you. Now I can reopen my store. Drop by Jack's store for weapons big and small. Okay, I'm already inside the store. You don't need to advertise me now. <laughs> oh, just, just so you know, I don't give gifts or anything like that. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> hey, you know what? I have a middle finger right here for you, but friend. Oh. What? Ah, oh, I get it. I was expecting something like that. Ring? That voice. Oh, snap! Now you done fucked up. <laughs> Ring, the boss's wife. What are you doing here? The boss's wife? Well, see, here's the fun thing about Ring. She is known in town. All these characters are known in the towns you find them in. But the thing for Ring is, even though she's a genie, she did get seen multiple times, so the easiest way to explain her away? His wife. They weren't really married, though. That's why she can just leave. She doesn't give two shits about him. Oh, okay. What brings me here? Oh, no, oh, I'm, I'm you. her. What brings me here? What a thing to say after such a long time. Hmm, you know, it's important to show proper gratitude. If not, well... If it's going to be like that, I might start getting upset. I get the feeling she's done some shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I understand, Miss Ring. Anything you need, it's yours. <laughs> well, why don't you come up with something you've got a brain, don't you? Use it. <laughs> Fucking use it. Yeah. Oh, understood, Miss Ring. Wait just, wait just a second here. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is a good thing. Jesus Christ. Sorry to keep you waiting, miss. I can't want to see the shit she did. Big Buck's hammer. Quiet. This is for you, Miss Ring. It's a platinum ring. Oh, you're proposing? Hmm. Very common, isn't it? Platinum? How common is that platinum? Not very. <laughs> well, at least in, like, video game worlds, but... It's very, it will do for, oh, that's you, Oops, I keep thinking. Ah, <laughs> uh, it will do for now. This is it for today. What's that? <laughs> I freaking love sword. Just the, oh shit, who am I traveling with now? But yeah, so now we have, bum bum bum, ring. I want to see how she does in combat now, I'm kind of excited now. Okay, I can actually show you the dungeon then. Just give me a moment, because I'm going to stack her up a little bit more. Uh, oh, we still got a lot of places to go to, don't we? What? We still... Oh, I mean, yeah, the world map has some more dungeons. Um, after Queens is then uh, Muscaraca, which is the desert dungeon. Then we actually have to go to the legit moon, and uh, the dungeon there is called Yellow Drops. After that, then is the final dungeon, and then if we decided to, we could do an extra bonus dungeon, but I'm probably not going to record that, because... Unless we wanted to like have this be a fallback game for like, hey, let's just record and show the final dungeon type of deal. Right. So yes, can I check in things with you, old hag? So yeah, I've been like filling this crap up, as you can see. Anyway, I need to grab all this for our new wizard. Alright, and then let's go over to her. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Sword, I've been improving a lot. He's got some pretty good defenses now. I haven't gotten any new defenses for Slingshot, though. But Hammer got up a little bit. So Ring, uh, she's starting with not that much health. So I better up her some more once I can. But in the meantime, eat! Eat! And then let's see here. How many water jokes have I given her? I feel like the feeling Ring is the kind of girl who kind of drill you about the calorie of calories in that food. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I, I can't eat this if it has X amount of calories. 
That is sword. Fun. No, she gets to the sword face. Sword. I cannot eat this if it has X amount of calories. <laughs> How many calories does this donut have? I don't even know. Don't, don't, do not even bring that donut to me. And sword's like, fuck it, starve. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I've been improving all the weapons. Like these are the main weapons oh, right that's here. That's cool. The rain sickle is kind of cool. Oh yeah, that's actually what the serpent sword has evolved into. Since I've been just I forget grinding. the evolve too, right? Yep. That's cool. The only game I know to, on the PS2 that can do that was Rogue Galaxy, wasn't it? Yes, and that was made by the same people who made this. That's cool. That's they like... made uh, Dark Cloud, Dark Cloud Two, and then Rogue Galaxy. That's legit. I I loved Rogue Cloud. Rogue, Rogue Galaxy was like. So I have that game, but I've never played it. Oh, you have it? Yeah. I haven't beaten it. Hmm, maybe that sounds like something we should play at some point in the future. But yeah, I've been improving everything. Uh, like, here's freaking uh, slingshots, uh, new uh, freaking... See, what I wanted to do as soon as you said that, really, like, well, maybe this is a game we should play. And I'll be like, no, and be like, okay. And then be just silence for the next five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized the stupid moment that I just had. This is slingshots. Um, what is her weapon? Um. <laughs> um. Um. Alan, what's this flingle shaped weapon? <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm gonna equip that ring. Uh, in the meantime, let me move some stuff around as well, which is from back over here. So this is her default weapon that I don't care about. Let's put that there. Let's go on back over here. Weird thing to notice is I never seen a PS2 fat before. A what? I never seen a fat PS2 before. I only have this, seen the PS2 Slim. I've I don't know, it's kind of weird, really. I see it online all the time. I've never actually seen one person. I've never played with a slim PS2. Oh, I need to bring mines over then. <laughs> and it's mainly just because, like, I've all, I I started, like, I got the PS2 as, like, the second console I ever got. Oh, that's cool. Uh, the first one was my Nintendo 64, and then I was a, uh, like, eight-year-old, I think, at the time. Maybe nine. Oh, my God. You and know what I noticed? I've been almost, almost been a PS2, a PlayStation man my entire life. The first real console I got after the 64 was a PS, PS, PS1, then a PS2, then I broke the fucking chain and got a 360, and now I'm back with a PS4. Oh my god, I missed the entire generation that was meant for me. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I assumed you were a PS3 person, but like then I found out you were on 360. I was like, oh. I mean, like I'm. Insane into R into RPGs in PS3 had all that shit, and now I'm on the PS4. I'm like slow to. <laughs> Captain, somebody's here. <laughs> I missed out a decade of my life. I mean, any landlubber with trifles with my ship won't leave alive. <laughs> ha Yeah. Hey, all your hearties. Feed him to the sharks! <laughs> uh, Cap, uh, he's over there. Uh. Fourth wall! Ah, <laughs> uh, I knew that, that, you fool, that, yeah. I knew that, you fool, that, you feed that them to the feed. sharks. There you go. God, reading's difficult today. <laughs> so, you wanted to see how Ring does? Yeah. Fuck you, fuck you. Jesus. Oh shit, I got shot. Oh, that's actually get flipped back for a second. Uh, hold on. Oh, no. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, Damn! You gotta be kidding me. Okay, she's, she's got one more hit in her and that's just about it. Yeah, but that's because I'm just not paying that much attention. I just wanted to say fuck you a lot. Okay. And yeah, fuck you. Shoot. Fuck you. Fuck you. Woo! Shit, I knew I should have waited for it to shoot. Come on, shoot, you motherfucker. Shoot. Oh my, it's... Shoot, damn it. I just knew it had a huge ass eye. <laughs> Fuck you. Holy shit. Fuck you. All right, so now I can show this off. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of distance. Oh, Captain, you shouldn't have, and fuck you. Uh, she has fucking Hadouken in his ass. Yeah, she can charge her weapon before she actually shoots. That's nice. Oh shit, I had to freaking this. Give me a... Uh... Thirst! Good, I have holy. 
There we go. All right, and then I gotta go into first person mode because this sucks. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, first person mode, didn't we? Oh shit, I missed. You mean it's not holy? Shit, I hate these damn crystals. Someone wasted mana. <laughs> I know, I don't even have fire on this, so I gotta equip the bad ring. Fuck you. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh crap, I gotta find the stupid chest. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I got the freaking hook. Oh god. So, with the, those pirates we just killed, was that their only part of the story? Yeah. Oh dang. They were the mini boss. But I will say this, my favorite story-based boss in this game is the one for Queens. Oh, really? Every other boss is kind of like throwaway in my opinion, even freaking Dran and Master Utan from earlier. Right. This is the only one where I was like, this has some emotional weight to it. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. So you can look forward to that, because when we come back, we will be definitely be playing against her. So like, in those well, she, aren't those like the houses inside the little, the little ball? Whoa. Yeah, I'll be collecting those at some point. I'm just trying to find what else I need. All right, I'll switch back to sword for this because you can only collect them as him. Okay. Each character has something only they can do in the dungeon. Oh my, Susie! Yeah, I found Susie. I don't oh. know where Aaron is, but you know, eventually he'll find him. Yeah, I'm Wendy somewhere. <laughs> 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 oh god. Well, uh, best luck to him. He's trying real hard to get that sponsorship. <laughs> oh no, my feather broke! <laughs> feather? Wait, what? You? Yeah, the Dran's feather. Oh, what does that do again? It allows me to move quicker, so that way life isn't unbearable. <laughs> oh, okay, you're not terrible. You, you, and you. Oh, God. And hey, Captain. Oh, Captain. Oh, Where's okay. that from? Uh, that's from Dead Poets Society. De what? Dead Poets Society. Where's, where's, where's that? I never heard of that. I had Robin Williams. Really? Yeah. Oh, Captain, my Captain? Yeah. Because they would stand on their desk to say that. Oh! oh! Okay, I just thought I remember the Family Guy reference when I first heard it. <laughs> uh, Family Guy. Oh, what, you don't like Family Guy? You don't like how... Fucking idiots have become in the past 10 years? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. So in this but chest- But American Dad's pretty good. <laughs> That's one thing I keep I keep finding upon. That's like the common consensus, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's like always, a family guy sucks, American Dad's amazing. <laughs> of course I haven't been keeping up with like the latest American Dad. And I'm just waiting for the part where, get, where they eventually fuck it up somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where Family Guy went wrong, though. Well, for me, it was that pretty much they tried to make all the characters sympathetic way back when, when they initially started. Right. And so, because of that, they then made them worse and worse by having a lot of like their faults stack up as they kept going. That is true. Like, the best episode to expose all that is a seahorse seashell party where literally Meg goes and says, Oh, and who's telling me to do this? Is it my mother who is a drunk kleptomaniac? Yeah, I, I get the feel. I get that this thing. Family Guy got too real. Now it's got this awkward tension behind it, really. Alright, I want to see what do I need to build this up with. I need to improve. And the thing is, they play off as play out very legitimately too. They try to at least. American Dad, they have like serious issues, but they still remember it's a comedy show for about for say a cartoon comedy show. So they like he was very light. But Family Guy, they try to play out their like. Character, character flaws as le really legit and it makes it awkward, really. Oh, hell yeah. When Peter does something like really stupid, which out of context should have been funny, but in the context of the, what, ha what immediately happened, it's odd. <laughs> I don't know. I suppose someone will tell me what, what I'm fucking wrong at. <laughs> well, like you said, pretty much it is common consensus that Family Guy really has fucked up. Right. There we go. And it is mainly just, they don't really have any, like, weight in the public anymore. 
Remember when they killed off Ryan and said like, oh wait, no, never mind, we brought him back. Oh yeah, no, I think that was like the final straw that broke a lot of the camel's backs, but... I mean, like, if you're gonna do some shit like that, at least have the balls to stick with it. Oh yeah, if they had actually stuck with it, I would've would have maybe considered. I would have way more respect of them, really. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. But, I mean, the thing is, the second I saw certain things within it just kind of really messed with me about it and i think part of it was i just disliked watching it and i realized that and i started realizing i wasn't having any fun watching it. that's also a thing too really i know and i also hear a lot of people saying like the simpsons need to need to end already they've been on for 20 years and stuff when simpsons is gonna end really but i have had more fun watching these simpsons than any fair re recent family guy episode really <laughs> That oh, didn't yeah. kind of like make it make me feel a little bit shit inside, really. I know it's that, too. Because, <laughs> like I said, the Simpsons know who they are. They have 20 years to find that shit out, really. They know what areas they should stick to and how they should deal with it, really. Family Guy, I feel like, is, is still trying to explore the room, and they're failing at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bye, Gunny. Bye, Gunny. Like... If, it, if you ask me who do I want, what series I want to end, the, end tomorrow, I would say Family Guy over Simpsons any day. <laughs> I don't know, I might say Pokemon. That's also the other thing. Mainly because I just don't want Ash anymore. I would like to see them do something new with like a new character and just I, reboot the whole series or I'm, something. I'm sorry, I will always want Ash. I just want him older. <laughs> I mean, like, I'll... It, when you were like a fan of Pokemon in that, in that day and age, you kind of like see the character as a child. You kind of see the characters as like real people somewhat. Well, I know, but that's the reason why I don't want Ash as the main character anymore. I kind of want him to be prominent, really. I want to be like a on-field Pokemon scientist, really. Like, oh, but still out in the field. Yeah, but the problem is if they let him age, they'll lose their target demographic, which is why I'd rather them get rid of him and just let him age off screen. What do you mean they, they would we would lose their target demographic? We are target demographic. <laughs> not really. Technically, their real target demographic is kids. No, I mean, no, well, not even that. I mean, oh, like, shit. if they replace it with another kid, they should they should gravitate real easy. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this guy. I'm gonna just go full on out. I'm gonna use this because I have shit. <laughs> oh shit! This isn't even the best weapon. Didn't she like do, all, do only like ones? What? Uh, slingshot? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Fuck you. Take this modern warfare cover base shooting! Fucking campers. <laughs> anyway, I'll switch back to her. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, yeah, I've never played. I've never played modern warfare in my, for my, in my life, really. And like, I found out recently what. That sound was <laughs> no, but recently I found out what camping re was really is when a player like stays in one spot when they spawn and just waste and just waste for players and shoots them. How do they fix that? That sounds like a legitimate issue. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's I nice. don't play it. Me, me either. Really, I was wondering like, wow, that's uh, when I think about it, that's a real legitimate issue. <laughs> My guess is that they didn't fix it. Right. Man, someone really wants to talk to you. Oh no, fuck him. I'm gonna trust the young master. Mm. Oh god. Two things. That fish is really dopey. And number two, this is a this, this is a DBR fan, fantasy somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, the first episode involved Vor. This entire game's gonna involve Vor. Oh. Remember? Oh. <laughs> oh cool. All the monsters are mimics. Yay! Oh god. So Reminds me back in high school when we get when me and my friends just used to just laugh at all the fucking war pigs there were on TV and art. Wow, really? Oh yeah! I remember when my friend, friend first told me about, about, about like war, war really. I'm thinking like, you're bullshitting me, right? That cannot be a fetish. You would not be alive! How is that a fetish? <laughs> I think like the, the fetish I find the weirdest is still the feet one. That is true, really. <laughs> And it's mainly because it's not just the fact that they're interested in feet. I guess I can understand being interested in body parts, but it's like the things they want to do with the feet. That yeah, what, what, what is that really? I never got that really. <laughs> like they like being stepped on and all that, it's like a turn on for them. I just don't get it. 
No, we're not. No, we're not kink shaming here. It's just legit curiosity, really. <laughs> like oh. that's, that's just the thing I have to look up really later on. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot we were on, on freaking recording again. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing though. It, this, it feels a lot more legit then. Yeah, God, that thing was fucking huge. That's a huge bitch. I kind of I should have assumed it because there you'll never find a weapon back here. Cool, I found metal. Dodge it. Dodge it. Wait, oh shit. Can I open this one? Can I open this one? Damn it! Alright, I gotta switch characters. Alright, shit, they all have to be fucking mimics. Holy shit. Oh, let me just go. I wanted to get the actual treasure. I don't want to fight any of you assholes. Thank you. I found a ruby with ruby. <laughs> No, I'll just ring. Shut. 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 <laughs> Get that weak shit out of my house. Shut. I like the, I just like saying that. Shut. I actually love using swear words, and the, <laughs> the people online will definitely know that's true. But the thing is, though. Like, because I- God have, damn, they just took a chunk for your HP. It's because they're hyped up. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit, 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 shit. But, okay, so when it comes to swear words, I'm usually in very professional settings and I can't swear. And I only typically swear around people I know very well because it, it's something like that is a sign that I'm relaxed type of deal. Right. But I know that a lot of people are very uptight about swears and I kind of understand it, especially like from the point of view that swear words and curse words are supposed to have meant something stronger, but for me, I don't like the idea that words have strength like that. So, like, saying them this much kind of makes them lose their value. Hmm. You know? The thing is, in this generation, we have, like, kids just swearing constantly. People are like, um, kids, like, swearing as soon as they get into kindergarten, as soon as they're out of their, out of their parents', parents' eye. So, once it gets to that point, we all, the words already lost that kind of power. I guess so. I'm just now imagining like a little five-year-old like going up to their uh, teacher in preschool going like, Mrs. Crabtree, why you gotta be such a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like Mrs. Crabtree, could you take the bitch armor down a little bit? I mean, fuck. <laughs> Right? Am I right? Am, am, am I the bad guy? Am I the fucking bad guy? <laughs> From like the five-year-old. Timmy, Timmy, look at me. Am, am I the fucking bad guy? No, am I fucking Hitler right no, now? No, bro, you ain't the bad guy. <laughs> She's a legit bitch. <laughs> I mean, for real though. For real though. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this next time. I mean, shit, right? Shit. Why is it always Dark Cloud that brings up the worst in us? <laughs>